Kids Church Online. Today we start a new series about Moses and the Israelites. The Israelites are God's people that started off as just one little family with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And this family grew and grew and grew and grew. I have a basket here that gives us a clue to the ending of our Bible story. Maybe you can guess what a basket has to do with the story of Moses. Well, we're going to have to watch through to the end to see if you're right. We also have some prayer time, memory verse, and of course, some silly stuff. Enjoy. Oh, oh, hey guys. It's the kind of news that I love best. Jacob's son, Joseph. Everyone. What's wrong? Tell you what the dreams mean. We know that rules are there to help us and keep us safe, but are there any rules that you don't like? Rules, rules, rules. Follow the rules. There are some rules that can bother us, like rules about bedtime or homework or junk food, but most rules are for our good. Today's Bible story, we're going to hear about rules gone bad, but that we can still trust God even in the worst of times. Okay, children, that's the end of math class for today. For history class today, we'll be learning about how Israel became a country. Turn out your textbooks to page 74. What page did he say? 74. Why do you have a mustache and talk funny? I'm an early bloomer, okay? Early bloomer? Quiet, remember my rule about no talking while the teacher is talking? History tells us that God gave Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob a promise. He promised them three things. Number one, he promised them that they would become a large many people. Number two, he promised that they would have a land. And number three, he promised them redemption. Yes, Billy. What, what does re re redemption mean? Well, thank you for remembering my rule about raising your hand when asking a question. Redemption means being made right with God. So God promised to give them a way for them and their people to be made right with God. I don't get it. They weren't right with God because of sin. Children, children, I hear voices again. Remember the rules. Okay, so to repeat, God gave Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob three promises. Land, people, and redemption, which is to be saved or made right with God. Now, does anyone know how the Israelite nation got their name Israel? Yes, George. God changed Jacob's name to Israel so that all the people that came after him were Israelites. That is correct. I can see you followed my rule by doing your homework yesterday. Good on ya. Well, so far we haven't seen any bad rules. Yet. You may not always like rules, but we'll soon see the difference between rules that we don't like and rules that are actually just plain bad. We learned from our homework last week that Jacob's son Joseph was a slave in Egypt until he became second in command. When there was a great famine in the land, all of Jacob's other sons came and lived with Joseph in Egypt where he took care of them and fed them. So they were already called Israelites by then? George, remember the rules? Please raise your hand when you have a question. Yes, George. Was Jacob's name already Israel then? Yes. So the family was a small group of Israelites, but it grew and grew and grew. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And the new ruler in Egypt got nervous. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And he was afraid that they were going to take over his land of Egypt. <laughs> Quiet hands, please, Billy. Yes, Billy. God promised them land too. So did they take over Egypt? No, instead the new ruler made a new rule to make them into slaves. And he also made another rule on top of that one to get rid of all the baby boys so they would stop growing in number. Whoa, those are bad rules. This is the second time you have broken my rule about raising your hand if you have something to say. But yes, making people slaves and killing their babies are bad, bad rules. Yes, Billy? They sure could cash in on that promise to be saved and get some land right about then. Very true. And although they had to wait a while, God didn't forget his promise. He had a plan. So for tonight's homework, 
You can do page 75 in your textbooks. What page? And we'll talk about the plan God had for the Israelites tomorrow. Oh, homework on page 7 and on page 5. <laughs> Oh boy, when the new ruler made rules to make people slaves and to take the lives of babies, those were bad rules. But even when there are bad rules, we can still trust God, even if we have to wait to see his goodness. <sighs> oh wow, I feel like I'm brand new. Do you ever feel that way after a good night's sleep? Hmm, my body feels new again. That's just like our memory verse. Isaiah 40 verse 31 says, They that wait on the Lord renew their strength. My body feels renewed, and that's just from sleep. But when we wait on the Lord, which is much better than just sleeping, the strength of our heart is made new. Sometimes things are hard, and I just want to give up. But instead, I come to Jesus and wait on him to see what he wants to say about it. <laughs> and as I wait on the Lord, he renews the strength of my heart so that I keep going instead of just giving up. Let's say our memory verse together. They that wait on the Lord will renew their strength. If we just wait. shall renew their strength. Let's pray together and ask God for help when we're feeling impatient. And you at home can pray along with us too. Dear God, Dear God, Help me to be patient while I wait. Help me to be patient while I wait. I want to trust you more. I want to trust you more. When things feel like they are taking too long, when things feel like they are taking too long, help me to remember that I can ask you for help. Help me to remember that I can ask you for help. Amen. Amen. Well, you're right about one thing. It sure does smell good. Oh, Mom! Mom! There's only one more minute left on the timer. Mom, can we show the kids at home our cake once we're done decorating it? That's a great idea. Stay tuned to see the girls' finished cake. for a long time that I've found some wild animals. You can see them right behind me there. Do you see them? One, two wild exotic rabbits. And they are, they're looking at their prey. They're waiting so patiently, so quietly. And I'm waiting, just watching them as well. Look how close they are. Right behind that bush there, watching its prey. Some yummy carrots and lettuce and tomato. It's amazing. Here, I'll, I'll let you guys see a little bit closer through these binoculars here. I brought my handy dandy binoculars to watch at a distance, a safe distance from these exotic animals here. Okay, here, take a look. See how they're waiting so patiently, just watching that entire herd of vegetables? Wow, they're not making any sudden movements, but they're gonna wait for the perfect moment to pounce on its prey and get it. Okay guys, we could be here for a little while, so I'm gonna get comfortable now here. I'm gonna sit down and maybe watch them with my binoculars and see what happens, okay? So far we've learned that because there were so many Israelites in the land of Egypt, the new ruler made some bad rules, making the Israelite people slaves and getting rid of their baby boys. 
This was so bad, but we also learned that we can trust God's plan even if we have to wait to see His goodness. All right, boys, welcome back to class. A new day, but the same rules, the same dress. I like to keep it consistent in the classroom, and one of those things is rules. Rules, rules, rules. Very important to follow the rules. All right, so who finished their homework yesterday? Okay, very good, kids. Well, we'll see then which one of you can answer these questions. What were the three promises God made Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Yes, George. God promised that they would become a nation of many people, that they would have a land, and that they would have redemption. That wasn't in the homework. Remember, one of our rules is to not bug your neighbor. What did you learn from your homework yesterday, Billy? Uh, that God saved Noah from the flood with an ark? What page were you on? Page seven and page five. Oh, no. You were supposed to do page 75. <laughs> well, you can do page 75 for homework tonight instead. Oh. Let's move on to God's amazing plan for the Israelites who had become slaves and whose babies were being killed because of the new ruler who was making bad rules. We're gonna watch a video about the start of God's plan. Just remember that when they say Hebrew boy, it's the same as saying Israelite boy. This is Miriam. Hello. Her little brother Moses is a Hebrew new baby. So she and her little brother Aaron and all her family is very happy. But one sad thing, Pharaoh, the ruler of Egypt, made a new decree that all Hebrew baby boys should be thrown into the Nile River. Miriam's mom, Jochebed, built a little basket out of reeds, covered it with tar, and carefully put ba baby Moses in it. Wah. Miriam's job was to hide in the reeds while she carefully placed the basket in the water, and the basket carefully drifted. She hid in the reeds while the basket drifted, and drifted, and drifted, and she followed close behind. <laughs> it came towards where the princess was bathing. Guard, bring me that basket. Okay. It's a Hebrew boy. Wah, wah, mama. Oh, I don't have anyone to care for him. Excuse me, you may, you may come. I know someone who can care for him. I could go to the Hebrew girls and ask for someone. Please, go do that. And when he's older, bring him back. And one more thing, I'm gonna name him Moses because he, he was taken out of the river. And if any of the guards question you, Tell me right away. Thank you. When Mo baby Moses is older, he'll live in the, in the Pharaoh's palace. You have a question, George? Yes, how is a little baby God's plan for saving the Israelites? I mean, they're still saved and he's just a little baby. That doesn't fix everything. Oh, we always want quick answers to our problems, don't we? But sometimes God makes us wait so that we learn to trust in him. And that's exactly what he was doing. Right, like Noah had to wait a long time in the boat. Ugh, oh. Billy. Anyways, God did have a plan with little baby Moses to move them in the direction of those three promises. Billy, do you remember what those three promises were? Uh, God promised that uh, number one, uh, mm. Can you help Billy remember the three promises that God made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Time's up, Billy. Do you know what God promised Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? God promised number one, that they would become a nation of many people, Number two, that they would have land. And number three, that they would have redemption. Great job, Billy. Great job indeed. And we'll learn more about that in our homework tonight in page 76. Homework on page seven and on page six. <laughs> <gasps> Thank you for following the rules today in class. That'll be all, class dismissed. It did seem like quite a big problem to solve with just one tiny baby. 
but we can know that no matter how big the problem seems or how small or slow the answer isn't coming, we can trust that God is bigger than any problem. <sighs> I can sure feel tired after the end of a long day. I just want to flop into bed and get a good sleep because my body is so tired and my eyes just won't stay open anymore. This morning I read Isaiah 40 verse 31 which says, They that wait on the Lord will renew their strength. Hmm, my body can sure get tired, but my heart is strong in Jesus because I wait on him. Even when things got hard today, I didn't give up. Let's say our verse together again and maybe I'll dream about it too. Isaiah 40 verse 31, they that wait on the Lord will renew their strength. Ta-da! Here's our finished cake. Whoa. Wow, that looks amazing. Wow, look at those colors. Girls, that cake looks like it would have taken a lot of time to make. It sure did, but the hardest part of all was waiting for the cake to bake. I just wanted to get to the fun part of decorating. How do you guys stay so patient? At first we didn't act very patient, but then Mom came along and reminded us of our new memory verse, Isaiah 40 verse 31. But they who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. We prayed together, and before we knew it, the cake was ready to come out of the oven. Just like in our own lives, we might have to wait for the good things God has for us. But it might take some effort, like following a recipe, but it'll be worth the wait in the end. It sure is! Why don't all of you practice waiting by baking a cake? Make sure to follow the recipe exactly, and then practice patience as you wait for it to bake. When it's finished, you can share it with someone you love. I'm so glad that we can trust God even while we wait. Mm -hmm. Guys, I've been waiting such a long time, and now it's nighttime. Those rabbits, wow, they are waiting so patiently for their prey. Okay, let's take a closer look and see if anything's happened. I've got my binoculars. Wow, it doesn't look like the vegetables have moved either. They must know that they're being watched. Wow, I hope that I can stay awake for this to watch the rabbits pounce on their prey. <gasps> oh. Shana taught us, they who wait on the Lord shall we view their strength. I have big straw. Strong muscles. What are you doing, Phoebe? The Bible says that they that wait on the Lord shall reveal their strength. So I'm revealing my muscles. My muscles are pretty strong, see? Uh, yeah, you're pretty strong for sure. But that Bible verse says that they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. If you wait on God, then your heart gets stronger. But if you wait for your problems to be fixed, not so much. Oh, hmm. I guess I haven't been waiting on the Lord then because my heart isn't strong enough to lift this box. Stories of the Bible. Baby Moses. This is Moses. Hey all. Moses was a descendant of Joseph's brother, Levi. Hey. Joseph and his brothers had many children and grandchildren who lived happily in Egypt. Eventually, a new pharaoh came to power who knew nothing of Joseph or what he had done. This pharaoh feared the Israelites because there was a great number of them living in Egypt, so he wanted to put a stop to their prosperity. Pharaoh made the Israelites slaves. He made them work long, hard hours building up Egyptian cities. But his plan didn't work, and the Israelites grew more in number and in strength. So Pharaoh made a rule that no Israelite boy would be allowed to live in Egypt. 
this is where Moses' story begins. You see, when Moses was born, his mother saw that he was a special baby. Hmm. And she kept him hidden for three months. But when she could no longer keep him a secret, she made a basket and put him in the Nile River among the reeds. Moses' sister stayed to watch what would happen to her baby brother. And soon the pharaoh's daughter came to the edge of the river. When she saw the basket, hey! she sent her servant to get it. When she saw the baby, she felt sorry for him, Aww. thinking he must be an Israelite baby who wasn't supposed to live. Then Moses' sister asked the princess if she would like her to find an Israelite woman to take care of the baby. Uh -huh. So Moses' sister went and got her mother. Moses' own mother took care of him until he was old enough to live in the Pharaoh's house, where the princess adopted him as her son. And so Moses, an Israelite boy who wasn't supposed to live, became the adopted grandson of the Pharaoh and lived in the palace as God prepared him for a great destiny that was only just starting to unfold. Oh, oh, wow, oh, I must have fallen asleep in all my waiting. Okay, hold on, let's see if the, uh, if the wild rabbits Got, got their prey. Wow, okay, one second, I've got to look through the binoculars, okay? All right. Oh, I must have missed it. The rabbit got its prey. Oh, well, I guess those rabbits are a lot better at waiting than I am. Today we learned what happened to Joseph's family after they moved to Egypt. Eventually they grew so big in number that the new ruler made them slaves and tried to get rid of all their baby boys. It must have been so hard for them to trust God in those hard things, but God had promised. Number one, that they would be a large nation of many people. Number two, that they would have land. And number three, that they would have redemption. And God started to fix the Israelites' problem by protecting baby Moses. This seems like such a small answer to such a big problem, but we can trust that God's plans are always worth waiting for. And we're going to have to do some waiting until next week to find out what happens next in Moses' story. Had you guessed it right about the basket? Had you guessed that the basket would hold God's rescue plan for the Israelites? A baby? Talk about keeping all your eggs in one basket. The Israelite slaves had a long way to head for this baby to grow up. And you guys have one week to wait to find out what happens next on Moses and the Israelites. You can read today's Bible story in Exodus 1 and 2. Thanks for joining us. I hope you had fun. We'll be back next week at Kids Church Online.